<laughs> you will not cease to amaze me, Jane. How do you mean? Every time I touch you, your engine is always active, ready to accelerate. <laughs> Another compliment. Anytime I'm with you, you always come up with a new compliment. It's <laughs> because you want it. Baby, you are very, very good. That's the problem. You feel that's the only place I am good at. To satisfy your urge and make you happy. Baby, why would you say it in like that? Why? Have I ever denied you of anything? Have I? You feel that's all I want? No. <sighs> See that? Am I not good enough for... Don't start. Please. Everything has its own time. And it's a gradual process. Okay? For how long? How long? <sighs> Who's that? I don't know. What's going on here? Who is she? <sighs> Francis, I thought you said I am the only one man in your life. Please, please. What is it? You don't what? have to be mad at me, please. I'm sorry. Just shut up. I said shut it. Tell me what I've been sorry for. Are you trying to tell me sorry for lying to me or for trying to break my heart? No, no. You've already broken my heart. You're the most stupid person I've ever seen all my life. You're an idiot. You're a big fool. You're a coward. Useless thing. In fact, I don't know between you and the devil who is better. Oh, no, no, no. I think the devil is better than you. You're an idiot! You're a big fool! Just get off my face! You rubbish! Rubbish! Get off my front! Um, yeah, hello, I'm coming, I'm coming, okay? Let's get out! Mike! Come here! Come here! Are you that stupid? I thought you have something upstairs! Hey, I got upstairs. I don't get anything upstairs where you stay. My little thing is there in my room. You are very stupid. You're the most stupid idiot I've ever seen in my entire life. Thank you, sir. How many times have I warned you that whenever I am with any woman inside, you don't have to allow another? How many times? Okay. My madam is not another woman, man. Will you shut up and get out of my face? Get out! Hey, 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 come again. Come on. Just pray to your God that everything will be okay. If not, get out! What does it look like I'm doing? I'm leaving. No, 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 honey. Honey, you can't do this to me. Come on, you can't do this. Please. Watch me. Honey, honey, please. Please, I, I beg you in the name of God, I will change. Oh, no, please. How many times have I caught you with other women? How many times have you promised to change? And how many times have you changed? Honey, see, honey, honey, see. Just tell me whatever you want me to do for you so that you will stay back. All I want is to pack my things and leave so that you can have peace, so that you can have enough space to frolic with as many women as you want. Get your please, please, I will change. I will change. I beg in the name of God, honey, don't do this to me. I will change. Please, I love you. Please, please, honey, please, I love you so much. Please. Honey, please, 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 please.
Hello, young lady. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I, I, I drove past initially. I, I had to turn back because I, I was wondering what would a pretty girl like you be doing at this time of the day. I mean, this hot sun. I guess you're looking for transport. Yeah, um, I'm waiting for your car. I, 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 I'll be obliged to help you. Where are you going to? Let me drop you. Uh, I'm not sure you're going my direction. Well, see, it will only take a guy that is not seen to see you in this hot sun and drive away like that. I want to help you. I want to take you to wherever you're going to. Please. You sure? Very sure. Okay. Come on, let's go. I see you outside now. I mean now. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Okay. I thought you said you guys are not on the together. Yes, I. You know what? Let me just go clear the air right now. So why was he looking at us as if he caught us naked in the room? I'll be back. So you'll be okay. Francis, you can come this far just to eat. So where is it written that people can go far to eat? I know you came to ask me about Sam, so can we just get it over with? Oh, you already know his name? <laughs> Tell me the truth. For how long have you known him? Three weeks. He gave me a lift and that's it. That's a blatant lie. When did you start lying? Can you please tell me something reasonable? You asked me a question, I answered you. Can I go now? Will you come back here? Don't touch me! Was he the reason you chose to leave me? Francis, you cannot find death in a White House. So stop playing this game, will you? It is because you have been hiding it. You've had this game with this man for a very long time. And you have been looking for a way out of my life. And I mistakenly gave you. Mistakenly? Yes. Francis, do you want me to remind you how many times I caught you with other women? Do you love him? Listen, I have decided that I will no longer do anything that doesn't make me happy. Don't dare me. Don't dare me. 
Like seriously, what are you going to do? You're going to beat me? Francis, be ready to crush me. Like I said, I will not do anything that doesn't make me happy anymore, including staying with you. And babe, how is your sister and your husband? They're fine. But that's not why I called you. But at least I should ask about them. I know. I should... Okay, fine. They will send me back from work. You win. You win. So what's up? Sam. It's getting really serious. Then you should start avoiding him immediately. Before Francis find out. <laughs> Talking about that one. He saw us at the restaurant downtown. Wait, he slapped you? No. What happened? Well, to my surprise, he was a gentleman. Yeah. He was nice to Sam, and then he called me out, and then started asking me questions. Hey. What's with babe? Well, you told me that that guy just gave you a lift, and that was that. Is there anything you're hiding from me? No. It's just that Sam is so nice. Like, he, seriously, he's he's the direct opposite of Francis. He's so mature. He's in just three days. I hope you've not been seeing this guy. No, the thing is, he's a very nice person. Yeah, and besides, that's why I called you so we can figure it out together. Um, so, what are you going to do now? I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. I think my baby is in love again. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you are doing the right thing. My girl is in love again. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes at first. I and mean, with the stories I've heard, she has been seeing that guy. That is the point. That is the problem. I warned you several times, but you never cared to listen to me. The lady has endured a lot. Endured? Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that she's right? I never said so. I'm not trying to defend anybody here. We have our zenith of experience. Every human being has his own limits. We have our own breaking point. And I'm telling you that this girl has gotten to a point where she can no longer endure what you are doing to her. And she has decided to take a particular place for happiness. You don't need to blame her. But not to the detriment of our relationship. You didn't consider most of these things before you started your own. I've warned you several times. I've said it time without number. You don't understand this thing. I warned you that by the time you finish what you are doing, this thing is going to boomerang. And now this thing is boomerang. I told you that one day you don't even have a window or even a door to treat these problems. And these things are staring at your face. You don't know how to deal with them.
Baby. Yeah, I'm I have a question to ask. Ask your question. <laughs> Our elders used to say that. Ujima, I na ge kweka mu maga ya nazo. Ujibote mu afimu. Ekalaka. You know, some people call it smartness. Some look at it from the point of trying to protect their own territory. So you don't blame anybody that is trying to protect his own territory. Ah. Yeah. I think those men should come now to witness what Francis is going through. No, 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 no. You're getting it all wrong. We don't need to be discussing such right now. What I think we should do is to find a way to settle this issue. He's our friend. He needs our, he needs our encouragement, our reinforcement. Please. But baby, it's not when a woman is fed up. Every woman is fed up, including you. Baby! No, hold on. But I still love you. Oh, that depends on how you define love. Every love is being influenced. A woman cannot just naturally love you. Baby! Hold on, let me just finish. Let me just give you this analysis. A woman will only love you, maybe you are rich. Or you are handsome. Or you have a car, or you're a celebrity. Baby! Something must influence a woman to love you. Baby! Mm -hmm. What are you trying to say? Okay, fine, wait, wait. What got me attracted to you? Oh my god, you are going there again. My big house now. <laughs> Baby, you know you can't say that. You know it's not true. <laughs> you know it's not true. <laughs> the truth has been told. It's not true. Yeah. You know I love you. Oga? Come begin the go. Why did they destroy you for my own work? I see my madam no day for house. He no day be say he no day. Ha! Huh? Are you mad? Am I the one you're talking to in this manner? Are you crazy? Are you nuts? I want you to go in there, call your madam for me. I want to speak with her. Wait to Oga, you waka come to my office. Come up with your mother, they tell me say if I decrease for my own office. Oga, come begin the go my madam no day. Begin the go! Are you mad? Oh, yeah, I stay here. No, they here. I see my madam no day for house. What can I stay And You want to go to the house? Jonah. That's what you do. Ah, madam. Good afternoon, Madam Precious. Francis, you're here. Going on? Three weeks. I never care to tell me. No, I didn't want to disturb you. Can you remember when my husband said that if a man is doing anything wrong and a woman cannot bear it, that she should take a walk? But that's exactly what I'm doing. Walking. But, but you know that two wrongs can never make a right. <laughs> I don't understand. You can't be trying to change someone from doing something wrong and you are caught doing the same thing. When a man is doing anything wrong in a marriage or relationship, it can be forgiven. But when a woman does, it's a different music. Who is Sam? Oh. Uh, sister, I've heard everything you said. And um, I've taken it into account. But you see this issue. I am handling it on my own. You are not handling it. I am. You are not. Sister, trust me, I am. Then handle it wisely and be careful.
say, please don't go, okay? You see, we know that if we ask you to go to his house with us, you will not agree. That was why we planned it this way. Please don't go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you sit down? Find a way and sit down. Listen, if there's anything he has to say, let him say it while I'm standing. Because I don't want to sit down, certainly not with this man. You know one thing? You're a very groom, well bred lady. A lady with color. A lady of substance. A lady of money. Yes. A well respected individual. Somebody I could look at and say, You are even more beautiful and more respectful than my lady. <laughs> How can you say that? Please. Why don't you sit down? Let us find a way to solve this situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, Alex, 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 don't just stop. It's because of you. Because you have sat down, I'm going to sit for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, you too. I appreciate it. Frances, my love, my heart rock, my soulmate, my life, my everything. Honestly, my love, I, I won't lie to you. I have learned my lessons over these few weeks. And I want to beg you in the name of God. Please forgive me. I am begging you in the name of God to please forgive me. Please. Okay. I see you've really hurt me. Yes, I know. Please. But, but the Bible says that we should forgive and forget. So that's why I decided to forgive everything that you have ever done to me. And forget everything about you. You don't take my calls, you don't even reply to my text messages. What's the meaning of that? Are you trying to avoid me? Are you dodging me? Let me spell it out clearly to you. I am done playing games with you. So if you know what is good for you, just allow me to be in peace. Simple! Just shut it! Shut up! How do you mean? That wasn't the agreement. You agreed to see me through school and to supply all my needs. When I mean all, I mean all! That was why I allowed you to deflower me. And you're coming to tell me crap? You're coming to tell me rubbish? Are you sick? Are you mad? Like seriously? Look at this man. Jane. This is not possible. Jane! I am done playing games with you. Get that into your teens court. It is not possible. Yes. It is not possible. I will tell you that it is not possible. Even if you want to leave me, you have to settle me, Oga. Oga, you must settle me. It is not done that way. Look at this idiot. Look at this hopeless fool. After promising me to see me through school, you say you're gonna take care of my needs. You're gonna help me. You're gonna do whatever I want. After deflowering me, now you just want to disappear like that. You must say to me that if you're a shameless hypocrite, and this whole town, everybody was here about us. Are you mad? Hey, Francis, this whole town was here about us. I will not leave you. You must say to me. You will see yourself. Idiot. I appreciate all the info you have given me uh, concerning Mr. Sam. At your service, sir. Oh, oh good. But it seems uh, he stays close to this place. Mm, not close, sir. But I didn't really know the particular house where he's living. So whenever my co-waiter comes back, I will get the address for you, sir. Oh, 
Sir, so, please, don't be offended. Why all this person about Mr. Sam? Oh, no, 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 there's no problem. He has been a friend of mine for a very long time. Huh? Oh. It's just that uh, we lost contact. Uh, but I, I met him uh, at traffic once. But before I could get to him, the traffic just cleared. So that's why I decided to come here and inquire. Yeah, that's your kind of your style. That's no problem. That's one of those things. Uh, yeah, it's one of the sacrifices uh, that we make for friendship. Is that right? Oh, that's good. Um, let me. I think just just have this for your time. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, sir. <laughs> no problem. Take care of yourself. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Sworn that I will never have peace with my girlfriend. You will never smell anything called peace in your life. You know, Francis, if I hadn't met you before, I, I would totally assume that you started mixing drugs and it's getting to your head. You are the one that has taken drugs and it has gotten into your head. Is he the man, Mr. Francis? Yes, he is. Mr. Man, you are under arrest. What did I hear you say? I said you are under arrest. For what? When you get to the station, you will know. Mind you, whatever you say shall be used against you at the court of law. I suppose I have the right to call my lawyer, right? Yes, you can call your lawyer. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> this is strange. <laughs> yes, hello, sir. Good day, sir. Uh, not at all. Um, it's just that... Some policemen walked into my compound, uh, but I guess with wrong information. Okay, you want to speak with them? All right, thank you, sir. Hold on. Sir, please, somebody wants to speak with you. Just speak to him, please. Hello? Sean, sir. Okore, sir. Thank you, sir. Right away, sir. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I'll call you later. All right, then. Hey, do you know that I have the order to bundle you out of this house this minute? Do you know that I have another order to bundle you to your house to make sure you don't disturb Mr. Sam again? Take him away. Officer, what's the meaning of this? Go on now, you had him. Officer, what's happening here? Go on now. We're very sorry for you. Good, good, good. Come on. Just go and do your job, sir. Move. You will stay here from me. Go on now. You will hear from me. Move. This is not the end. Move. This is not the end. Move.
I would advise you postpone your business dealings today till tomorrow. Why, officer? Mr. Francis, it will be too bad if we or any of our teams see you anywhere near Mr. Sam. Just let it lie, because as I speak to you now, words have gone round. Uh, it's okay, officer. I, I must tell you that anything that concerns Sam have been settled. I, and I also have to tell you that I know I made a mistake, but I want to promise you that it will never repeat itself again. It's okay. But the problem is that I have an important meeting to attend to today. That instruction. Because you don't know where Mr. Sam will be per time. So I advise you just stay at home. Officer, are you trying to tell me that I am on house arrest today? Consider yourself lucky. Let's go. I don't want to pick it. Then put it off and make sure he doesn't call mine because I would put mine off. Yeah, Francis, what? Why would you do that this morning? Francis, listen, if the police says you stay at home, then stay at home. I don't have his number. I don't have any means to reach him. Whatever. What is happening this morning that you made mention of police? Can we go? Francis, I we've had you. We really sympathize with you. But I have a question for you. Okay. Are you telling us you're not going back to Francis? I'm not. Why? Please dear, I hope he's not out of anger. You just try to understand that to air is human. And to forgive is divine. You're not getting the point. The point is, I am tired. I'm tired of being in a relationship. I'm just, I don't even feel the same way for him anymore. You know, I don't want to find myself dead someday. He beats me. I'm tired of fighting and, and, and argument and quarreling. It's, if, if he changes his ways, I am sure that he will find somebody else, maybe somebody better than me, you know. But for me, my heart is already somewhere else. And I just, you, you know what, I really need to go. My sister is already um, calling. And hold on, hold on. I, like I said before, we sympathize with you. But you know in relationship there are uncertainties. There are problems that must surely come into, into play. But I still believe you need to give this young man a second chance. But if you think you are done, like you said, and I have no other option than to allow you to do whatever you feel that is necessary. Something that will make you happy. I will always allow you to do that. We have come a long way. So, maybe you need to see her off. You didn't, you didn't even take your drink some other time. It's okay. Okay. 
Francis, please come. Say it, Alex. I appreciate everything you guys have tried. You're Thank welcome. you so much. You're welcome. Can you just fix it? For here now, you go know who come this place. You're a grace, useless. Come, is what I'm waiting for. Unyala. Jim, what is it? What do you want? You are my problem. Yes, you have refused to fulfill your promise in my life, and that's why I've come back for you. You must settle me today. Settle me, Oga. Get it far. Rubbish. Okay, okay, okay. See what we're going to do. You will just go, and I will talk to you later. You're a grace. I'm sweating. As you're picking, or as your get man, blessed and mad. But can you say Zuzu? You smoke? Come on, whatever you want to say, say it here. Let me get out of this place. Settle me! You must settle me today! Nonsense! You think I'm joking with you? Come on! Carry your fat face and get out of my face. Go and settle me, I'm waiting for you. Okay, uh, at least that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. Good. Be fast, be fast about it. Whatever you're doing, just be fast. Whatever you are planning will not work. I promise you. Come and hit me! Want to kill me, Abi? I'm ready for that. Just come, come, come! I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you. Don't say. Where are you going to? Madam, I have decided to let go of Francis. Oh. It's one of those things in life. It's a sign of maturity. Oh. Thank you, madam. You came shopping? Oh, yes, madam. Okay, so you're welcome. My regards to your husband and everybody. Uh, they will hear. Take care of yourself, eh? for both of you. It's a very good thing. Thank you very much, ma'am. You see, Francis here is my heart desire. <laughs> I presume that that I've actually been missing for a very long time. Which is why I will not hesitate to do everything possible so that we can settle down together. <laughs> I wish both of you good luck. No, sister. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. See you. Enjoy yourself. <laughs>
Francis. What's up, man? I'm good, Anita. Can you excuse me for one minute? For what? Uh, maybe. Don't worry. Don't talk to you. Confess that you're looking so happy and good. Thank you. As a matter of father, what if I I tell you that I want us to get back together? I, uh, as it was in the beginning, what would be your reply? What's the meaning of this? You called me out from a meeting with my man to tell me that you want to take his place. Francis, please, with all due respect, I don't want all any of this drama. It's okay. Uh, that's good for him. It's all right. There's no problem. I, I'm happy for both of you. Thank All you. I ever wish for you is uh, happiness and goodness. Okay. Okay. All right. Take care of yourself. Thank and you. And always be good. Oh. Thank you. I think he's up to something. Who? I see him like a snake. A green one under the green grass. Maybe this snake has no venom. Don't worry, I know him. He can't do nothing. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Well, you better be careful too. You know why? Why? Men, we change by the second and the minutes. Does it mean you're also going to change? No, I'm not a loser, I'm a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Losers are drowning, so they're always looking for who to drown with. You know how it is to be on top? <laughs> and when you're drowning on the other side. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> Oh, oh. 
hold on. What, what's going on here? I mean, you people shouldn't leave me in the loop. You know each other? Yes, she was my teacher in school. <laughs> my son, knowing is an understatement. She is like a daughter to me way back in school. One of the best students, my class captain, my helper. In fact, she virtually knows everything I do and when to do this or that. That's so nice. The time came, I was praying for my students and I especially spoke to God about her. Oh. And today she is under your roof. <laughs> Tell me, Sam, what is going on? Who is she to you? <laughs> Tell me now! Okay, um... Okay, see, Auntie. in one word, I'll say she's my God sent angel here on earth. In her, I found my complete woman. Well, Francis, you already know my auntie, but let me avail you of who she is actually to my life. This woman, she has been my friend, a big one for that matter. Not only that, she has also been my mother, my father also. Now, look at it this way. If I go on and on and start describing who she is to my life, we're not going to live here. But I'm sure you will understand. You're welcome. Thank you. Anyway, enough of this emotional. <laughs> Let me go get something. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs>
My love, you've watched enough. Just hold on. Very soon the engineer will come and repair the washing machine. But I'm almost done. The clothes are not much. Don't worry, I'm fine. But you've been working all day. You need to rest, please. Baby, you've been calling this engineer for the past four days and he's been busy. He hasn't shown up. The clothes are not much. I'm almost done. Besides, you don't have anything to worry about. Thank you so much, my love. What would I have done without you? Honestly, I, I thank God that I have a woman like you. I am also happy that I have a man like you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Do you need anything? No, no, no. You know eventually you'd have to start practicing what the doctor said. What is that? That you need to get up from this wheelchair and try to walk. I Yes, you were supposed to have started last week, but I decided to let you rest because I figured you needed a little more time. But right now, you can't get comfortable here. No, no, baby. I, not today. Yes. Not today. Yes, today. Baby, it's normal. You feel a little pain. You take one step at a time. And then you can continue before you know you're up on your feet. Let's try it. Hmm? If you can just walk to that place. Let's just try it. I'll hold you. I'll be here for you. No, no, no. Baby, wait. Wait, baby. Baby, why are you so eager to do this? Because I cannot have my man getting comfortable on a wheelchair. Oh, 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 oh,
this is your first time.
Who are you? Baby, who is this woman? So this is it. I spent four months of my time taking care of you, making sure that you're okay. And this is how you pay me back? Honey, it's, it's not what you think. It is what I think. I have eyes and they work perfectly well. Who is this woman you brought into our home? She, she... She what? She even has the guts to put on my clothes and you know it! Sorry. Sorry. Honey. Francis, you were not worth the time I spent with you. You were in my past and will remain in my past. I am moving forward. children oh they are all doing well my husband as a managing director he does more of traveling to their various companies for meetings and to plan on how to move on a very busy man he must be a very busy man indeed and my children they are all doing well in the boarding house the eldest is a lady she is now in her second level in the universe that was why I said I smell a wonderful and happy home when we first came in here you can say that again <laughs> You're welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, my daughter, help an old man. Uh, if not for any other thing, help me as if I'm a father or your father. Uh, please, just find me little thing, please. I beg of you. Uh, thank you very much. Hey, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Uh, please, my daughter, don't see it as if I am bothering you too much. Eh? The old man is hungry. Uh, look at me very well. They will not attend to me. They will think I'm mad. All I just want is food. Can you help me use this money to buy food for me? Please, I beg of you. Okay, hold on. Let me get a taxi. Thank you.
Are you enjoying your meal? Yeah. Waiter! Listen, anytime this man comes here, give him food on my account. I'll talk to your madam to be sure we're on the same page. Okay, ma'am. Alright. You're okay, right? <laughs> God will bless you. I need to go. I was actually on my way to see my boyfriend before he stopped me, and I'm sure he's waiting. Mm. I smell love in the air. My daughter, please, cho choose one more thing, please. Don't see it as if I'm bothering you. I'm just an old man who does not have anybody to take care of him. Eh? Look, look at me. You see how dirty I look? It's not that I want to be like that intentionally. If you can just help me get one good shirt and trouser, maybe slippers, palm slippers, I won't, that will do. Is there any other thing you need? No, seriously, is there any other thing you need from me? So if I give you a shirt, a trouser and a silk you will go. Fine, follow me to an ATM. Thank you very much. This is 50,000. Get yourself good clothes, good shoes, and anything you need. All right? Thank you very much. Let's go. My daughter, please. Uh, I know you have really done very well. You have also tried. Oh, please, can I ask you for just one more thing? Sir, I, I asked you if you needed any other thing, and you said no. I told you my fiance is waiting somewhere for me. I don't want a situation whereby he starts calling me and I start lying. I, I understand, my daughter. Just this one more last one, and I won't bother you again, please. Okay, fine, just, I'm listening. Uh, uh, please don't see it as if I am pressuring you too much. All I just wanted to know is, if a man like me stops you and proposes marriage to you, please, would you marry him? Sir, I don't know why you're asking me this question, but if somebody asks my, my hand in marriage, if I like the person, I will accept. But if I don't like, I will humbly decline. Mm. Excuse me. I'll be right back. 
Yeah. Hey, no, no, wait. Do, do you do you know know the owner of that car? How could you allow it? You knew about this whole disguise and you allowed it? Why? You're supposed to be on my team. You're supposed to be my person. I tried, darling. But Sam insisted to know your heart. <sighs> know my heart? By destroying that same heart. Who does that? Who is he? What kind of a man is he? Not part. However, that doesn't give me an excuse not to say that I'm sorry. Don't touch me. You think that going on your knees and telling me or calling me sugar makes it right. It doesn't. You don't go about treating people that way. You don't go about deceiving people and expecting that they will just let hey, you. Shut up. Say shut up. How dare you? Who do you think you are? You tore me down in front of my aunties because I went down for my nails for you. You must be in the shoes. Nonsense. Went down on my nails and still you're telling me nonsense. Yes, sir. Huh? 
Aren't you ashamed that you are fighting for a man who brought you in and also brought me? Hey, you should be looking for a way to get whatever you wanted Why I get mine. And you are here looking for who to blame for your lot. You are a stupid person. No, 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 no. You are the one who is stupid here. For making us have this conversation openly. Look at this idiot. She slashed my man and she said, Are you mad? Are you mad? What is even wrong with you from there? I'm not what is wrong with you. No, just allow me. She snatched my mom from me. She's a hot ass man. Get out. She's a hot ass man. I will just kill you here. What is wrong? What is wrong with you? What is all this? What is all this? Get out. My dear, I am very sorry. I'm sorry for everything, okay? I'm so sorry, teacher. Thank you. Do you know what we did out there was very stupid of us. Men are not worth fighting for. Not at all. Look, Irene, I would like us to team up together and fight against Francis. Please. <laughs> you know why I was laughing when you stopped me at that park? because we are not the only women in Francis' life. Yes. You may not just only me, but we are not. And he told me that I'm the only woman in his life. <laughs> that is captivating lies. Oh, oh, women. Women should grow up. We should grow up to know the real men for us. How do we know the real men? How? Babes, by their fruit, we shall know them. Babe, but you know it's not that easy. Because by our own roots, they already know us. So, what do we do in our own case now? Fine. I would like us to teach Francis a lesson. A serious lesson he will never forget in his entire life. Can you imagine? He feels all women are gold diggers. No, I want him. I want us to teach him a lesson. Nice one. Just nice one. imagine. The idiot broke my heart. He shattered my heart in pieces, and he just want to go like that. It is not possible. That guy must settle me, even if he doesn't want me in his life again. He must. I will make him understand what I went through. Baby, no. There is something men keep forgetting. That revenge is sweeter. I will be coming back for him. I said she just wait for me. She just wait and see. you want from me? I thought you don't want to have anything to do with me because I'm a womanizer. What are you doing here? Well, let's see if you have changed Francis. Anyway, that's not why I'm here. Why are you here? You know Jen? One of your girlfriends. What about her? Francis, she has a very big dangerous plan against you. She wants to harm you. Over what? She's out for revenge. Saying you deflowed her and turned your back on her. Now she needs your help. She got herself to blame. No, Francis. You don't take women for granted when they are on that lane. Come on. How come you know about this? Huh? 
How come you know all these things? Because I know that both of you are enemies. How come? Francis, <laughs> don't believe everything you see or read about women. Because they can change overnight or remain permanent forever. Hmm. Well rehearsed. <laughs> well rehearsed. I can see you planned yourself very well before coming. But if I may ask, are you sure you're not here to get my attention once again? Huh? But if you're serious, I can call Jane. But if it might interest you, I hate gossips. Okay? But if you need to get my attention, or maybe you want us to have fun and I, I will pay you real good. It's very simple. I will just check you in into a hotel room and uh, get back to you when I'm done with work. But if you are serious, I will call Jane. Wait. Can I try it? Hop in. That's a good news. I, I'm so happy for you. And then um, when the invite is ready, I'll send it across. No, no, there's no problem, no problem. I, I, if there is anything I, I can do for you, don't hesitate to give me a call. Aww, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. All right. Uh, please, one minute. I, I don't know the way you're going to see it, but I want to take you out for lunch. Please, don't tell me no. Uh, okay, uh, but I need still need to get the stuff I, I want, so maybe when I'm out. No problem, no problem, I'll wait. Hope you enjoy your meal. Yeah, really nice. I can't believe that I, I am now having a borrowed time with you. What was mine before is now and now the man's property. Stop it. What a wall. Please. Don't, don't, don't even go there. Francis, I, I am melting for you. Can I have you once again, at least for the last time? What? Yes, come on. Other girls are doing it. I am not other girls. I am Francis. How can you even say that? Please. 
princess. If you ever loved me, please grant me this moment. Just stop it! All the while I dated you, wasted my time. You were busy sleeping with everything in skirt. Did I sleep with other people? Did I cheat on you? Now you expect me to cheat on my man, a man that loves me, with somebody like you. Please. Don't let me hit you with this bag. meaning of that bullshit you told Francis. What was that? Jen, calm down. You just hear me out first. Calm down for what? What reason do you have? Jen, is for our own good. How? For the good of both of us. Sit down. What is it? How? <sighs> Babe, you know Francis can't zip up. So, in one way or the other, I have to give him what he wants and get what he wants. No, that's not it. He said you approached him and told him that I'm planning to kill him. Wait for waiting now. No, 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 I don't understand. How are you going to tell him that kind of thing? What, what kind of talk is that? See, I have to sell myself back to Francis so as to get us in. Eh? Uh -huh. Was that why you have to tell him that I'm after his life? See, babe, the truth remains that Francis believed I came to him lying so as to get myself back to his bed. But by the time I gave it to him, back, front, sideways. He forgot everything I told him. Rather he said I should come spend the weekend with him. <laughs> eh? Yes. Now you see I know what I'm doing. So, what's the plan? Arrivals. See, see if there. I can pick uh, some shoes and clothes for the wedding now. Hey, Auntie. This wedding that you are really preparing for, it seems it's going to be great. More than great. Personals will be coming and I don't want to look odd. You know me now. You know you never look odd. Hello? <sighs> now? I can't come. I'm going out with my aunt. What junction? Oh. Listen, I hope it's not about what you and I were discussing the last time. Okay, I will not be long. Yeah, bye. Where are you going? Um, there's something really important I need to attend to. I will not be long. I'll meet you at the shop. No, 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 I won't. What do you want? 
How is a traditional wedding planning going? Fine, but I'm sure that's not why you called me, so cut the chase. What do you want? Smart girl. Actually, that's not why I called you. Take a look at this. Francis. You told me you deleted the naked pictures. What's the meaning of this? was meant for a time like this. A day like this, what does that even mean? Frances, my dear, all I want from you is just for us to have sex. I want to make love to you for the very last time. I guess I'm not asking for too much. <laughs> for this? And if I don't? You're blackmailing me. Oh, but, but, but you can call it whatever you want, okay? You can just, you can, you, you can give it any name. If you refuse to sleep with me, I am going to post all these naked pictures on WhatsApp, Facebook, all the social network, and the whole wide world will see our naked man. Why don't I believe you? I mean, why would you post your own naked picture online? Because you're trying to hurt me. Don't dare me, because I can do anything. Go to hell, Francis! Listen, listen, Francis. I am giving you two days to come knocking at my door to make love to me for the last time. If not, I am going to post these naked pictures on all the social network for the whole wide world to see our nakedness. Two days. I mean, two days. Why are you crying? No, nothing, Auntie. I'm fine. I, I know you won't tell me it's wedding fever again. So what is it? No, no, it's not. I, I'm fine. Then I have to call Sam to come back. No, 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 don't. Please don't. Just let him do whatever it is that made him travel. Then what is your problem? Hmm? Do you know that few hours you've been done has eaten you up? Really? Yes. It's like you don't know what you're doing to yourself. Hmm? Auntie, I am fine. Did Francis do anything to you? No, no. Tell me so that I can pick him oh, up. Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. Nothing. It's. I, I just got emotional, that's all. But what is the problem? I... Let's go inside. No, don't worry, let me just be here for a while. And then let's go inside. Just let me be, please.
Are you ready for me now? Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to destroy all we spent years to build as friends? Please. Please. I beg you. Change your mind because I know there's a good person in there. Please. Please, I beg you, don't do this to me. I thought you came here because you're ready. It's too early and I am running late for work. Get out of my way. Get out! If you don't get out, I will run you over. Get out of my way or I will run you over. This is what I'm going through. But what does Francis stand to gain in all these things? What is his problem? I don't know. You know, I'm actually thinking that maybe since he's my ex, I should just... Should do what? Don't even try to think about it. Don't give in. Because if you do, he will haunt you for the rest of your life. Even when you are married. I don't it, know. I think you have to talk to your man. Sam is in Abuja. He went to see his dad. Nobody knows how he's going to react. If I tell him, he might get Francis arrested or he might do otherwise. But that's better. Okay? At least they will extract those pictures from him. <sighs> Are we talking about the same Francis? You know how cruel that guy can be? God. I want to risk... I don't want to risk anything. I, I don't want to risk anything. Okay, you know what will happen. I think I and Alice should go and talk to him. Okay. Let's see if he will reason with us. That guy I never knew is this mean. So cruel. God. Very cruel. Very mean. How are you? I'm fine. Is he not back yet? No, my guy will not be coming back. Home. What do you mean he will not be coming back today? He traveled. I don't really understand what is happening here. I've been calling him for long right now and he has not been picking his call. Is there any number you can give to me so that I can call him? No. No. He only gave me a letter to give to Frances. He said whenever she comes, I should give it to her. That it contains where she will meet him. I think Frances was right. Francis had this whole thing planned out. What do you think we should do? Let's go. She refused to say a word. Francis, if you don't talk to us right now, I'll call Sam and tell him whatever that comes to my head. Oh. 
Okay. Have you talked to her friend? You still get nothing in return. Then I'll call Sam and tell him. Let us know what the problem is. My love, hope you're good. I hope you know I still love you more than anything on earth. Please, my angel, kindly tell someone what is wrong so that we'll know what to do. Please, my love, I am waiting. Answer my call. What is your problem, Francis? So it has gotten to the essence of you ignoring everybody, even Sam. Now listen, let me tell you something vital. If you ruin your life with this your nonchalant attitude, do not run to me for a shoulder to cry upon. Share whatever that is bothering you. The same problem shared is half solved. Francis!
I know you wouldn't want me to publish those pictures. How am I sure that if I give in and let you get what you want, you would not still go ahead and publish the pictures? Don't worry, my dear. I am going to give you something to hold on to. When we are done here, I am going to call the person that is going to hand you over everything. Mm. <laughs> you think I'm a fool, right? I am here. What you want is here. I want the pictures here and now. No, my dear. It won't work that way. I call the shots here. It's going to be done my own way. Oh, really? Watch me leave. You are not going anywhere. You come close to me and I will plunge this knife right through your belly. Listen, Francis. This is not a game to be joked with. I am going to send all those pictures to Sam, Vera, Gift, Precious, and all your family members. And I will also send it to every man you have ever known on this planet Earth. And finally, I will post it on the internet. Just one phone call and all these things will happen. Come on, relax. Let us have fun for the very last time. Come on. That's my baby. Naked pictures.
She saw the naked picture and fainted. Hey, Jesus Christ, I'm finished. Madam, please. You have to put yourself together and take it easy on her. Please. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. Hey, Francis, what has she done to you? Hey, what did the doctor say? He said the shop knocked her off, but she'll come around soon. Just. Hey, please. Madam. Please, put yourself together. I mean, the noise is not good for her. I'm sorry, please. You don't have to blame me. <laughs> she's fine. She'll come around soon because she is a survivor. God, I pray so. God, I pray so. What of Sam? He took the next available flight. He'll be here soon. Okay. Just don't worry. Everything will work out fine. <laughs> This is unbelievable. Francis is heartless. 
that is why I will stop at nothing to see him fall. But come on. Our plan against him was what he used against Francis. <laughs> Plans has not finished. If plan A fails, there is always plan B or C. Of course. So, B, do you have another plan for him? <laughs> it's just like asking a fat kid if he loves cake. Okay. Hey. What baffles me is why Francis have to treat that girl, that lady Francis, the way he did. That you really tried for him. Mm. So you did not try? Hey. <laughs> if you did not try, you see me, Jane. I tried. In fact, I over tried for him. So it's not a new thing. Come, Jane. Come, Jane. You open this gate, you idiot! Ah, Oga, my guy is not around you. Where has he gone to? He traveled. Since when? Oga, three days ago. Oh my god. If anything should happen to my sister, I am going to bring down this whole building. Uh, young man, now listen to me. Tell him that I, Sam, said that this dance that he has learned how to dance, he better learns it very well. Because I will play the music for him the way he least expected. Do you hear me? Nonsense. She has not gotten in touch with him, not to Alex. This is strange. That is what I've been thinking. Because I spoke to her few friends, but they told me they didn't hear anything from her. So, I don't understand anything. Hey! Then where is my sister? Francis, it will never be well with you. A girl that sacrificed everything to you. This is how you pay her. Oh God. Hmm. Hmm. Now I get it. I get it. Yes. This is probably what she's been going through in the past days. That is it. And she kept all this to herself. Uh, anyway, sister. Let's just try and keep our trust in God. Because humanly possible, we've done all we can. Moreover, the police has also assured me that they are digging seriously into this matter. And as soon as I will get something positive from them, please let's just hold ourselves. Your number? Why are you standing there and asking me unnecessary questions? Why not hoping let's get out of here? Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay. Yes, um, from the information I gathered from them, there's a strong lead right now. Um, from all they said, they said soon as we're going to get um, very good news from them. Let it be a very good news. Good. 
What will I do if my people should know about this? Just let us wait a little bit and pray the place gives us good news, just like they said. If they have seen the picture, what will I do? That's, that's just another one. But Alex, don't you think that if they had seen the picture before now, there would have been some noise and they would have contacted us? But please, there, what about what you said that you and your friends are working so hard to remove those pictures from net? How is it going? Oh, that was still doing. But you know it's not easy. But one thing I know for sure is as soon as we're going to get all of them off the uh, internet and social network. Oh God. Francis will suffer. God will punish Francis. He will never know peace all his life. He will continue running until he meets his death. God will punish Francis. Jesus Christ. Around the town for hours now. Where are we going to? Babe, babe, you have to relax. The time is for our own good, okay? Our own good, you said? Yes. I don't understand. Francis, you've been acting strange lately. What is the problem? Babe, I just want you to relax. Calm down your nerves, okay? There's no problem. They call and you're leaving. Where are you going? To the police station. They oh. want us to come. Okay, let me come with no, you. No, 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 no. Please. You don't need to worry yourself. 
Yes. Whatever reason they caught for, we'll handle it. We'll intimate you from time to time, we'll call. You can't go with them, it's already night. But my sister is out there all alone. Nothing. I don't know what happened to her. Nothing will happen to her, precious. Frances is a survival. Nothing will happen to her. Just relax, everything will be alright. Yes, um, we're looking for Mr. Francis. Ah, my yoga? It's not your back, sir. At this time of the night? Yes, sir. Where could he be by this time? I don't know, sir. Whenever he comes back, I'll open the gate for him. Are you possibly saying you don't know how we can find him or what? I don't know, sir. I don't know. This is strange. Very strange. Anyway, thank you for your time. We'll be on our way now. All right, thank you.
plenty of policemen don't they come here since they ask of you. I hope you told them that I'm not around. Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, I did not even tell you where I traveled to. Yes, hmm? By tomorrow, I am going to travel far. At least to rest for a while. You are a very wicked person. I'm sorry. Francis, I'm sorry. Please, I, I after changed. all I did for you, this is how you pay me back by destroying my life? You don't have to, you don't have to kill me. Please, I will change from- SHUT UP! You're not changing. I'm also sorry. Go down! Hankofa, mind you, whatever you say shall be used against you at the court of law. Stand up! Or you move it! I said move it! Move it! Come, move it! This is the last warning. I'm warning you for the very last time. Open this gate or we will force ourselves in. No, my guy told me not to open this gate, I beg. See, officer, I think we may have to force ourselves into this compound. Anyhow. Because there's more to this house that we have ever thought about. Look at that corpse, for example. 
I don't think Francis killed that corpse. Because that corpse was fresh. So please, we need to force ourselves into this so that we can say this house and know whatever what exactly is happening inside here. See, if you don't open this gate at the count of three, huh, you have yourself to be blamed though. I am telling you for the very last time. One, two. You have to take us inside to search the whole building. Keep quiet and remain silent. Whatever you say or do will be used against you at the law court. Now move. I say move. Come on, move. Dead girl? Oga, okay. when my Oga come back with the girl, she did her life for. Uh, um, while I was coming down, a test came in too. Is it the same person calling? Exactly, that's it. Okay, okay let's read the test. Yes, we have to get her. But this is not enough to nail her. See, I'll test her back. Telling her that Francis came in, in a pool of blood, dragging a dead body with himself. You know, I'll tell her that Irene hid herself from Francis for Francis not to see her. I'll tell her that the phone has been on silent. But I couldn't answer her because I don't want Francis to hear my voice you know i'll tell her to come and help me distract francis so that i'll come out from my hiding place and when she comes we'll finish francis i believe that when she hears this she will come you sir you have the opportunity to save yourself or go down forever when i'm done sending this message you have to go back to your duty post Jane is going to come. 
when she comes knocking, open the gate for her, but don't open immediately. You know, drag it so that she won't notice any danger. But if she decides to jump through the fence, my men are on ground. Guys, you want her alive. So, if you're aiming, aim her legs. Right? Yes, sir. one you don't have to say anything because whatever you say will be used against you at the court of law officer sir. handcuff her yes, sir. Get up. Move. Not anymore. I've been relaxing and nothing has happened at all. So if you go out there and lose control, something will happen, right? Yes. By the time I start pulling down Francis' house and set it ablaze, maybe one of his neighbors will call him. He will come out wherever he is hiding and provide my sister. Please, Auntie, no, no, please, please. Don't just go anywhere. Just calm down, okay? I think she's fine wherever she is. Besides, we did not hear any bad news since last night. I beg, please don't go, okay? No. I cannot fold my hands anymore. My sister is missing, and with the stories surrounding it, I am not comfortable again. Please, please. please. my sister is talking about here. I think that's right.
we all at different times go through trials in one form or the other. Some of these trials either makes us, mar us, or change the course of our lives. But the most important thing is we're victorious at the end of the day. Which also brings me to the point where the Bible said the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. But God in his own infinite mercy avails us life and gives it to us in abundance. Anyway, that's by the way. In the course of all this also, I got a test yesterday afternoon that I didn't have the time to either open or read until today. And I was very happy when I read the message. My friend happily announced to me that we've been able to wipe and erase all the pictures from social network and the internet. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank God. And not only that, you won't believe it. But the pictures are all traced to Francis, who is no more. Therefore, at this point, I have no other choice than to declare this party open. Let's have fun. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I'm so happy. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your bag, the one you bought along the road, you left everything, including a hundred and seventy-two thousand naira. Wow. Do you know I didn't remember? Huh. You see what I told you? There are a lot of good men out there. Apart from yourself. Ah, no, I see. <laughs> this is the other one. And you brought it back? Yeah, I have to. You know, when I had that gunshot, I have to run away. Right, so avoid arresting. But I later remember I made a mistake. I wouldn't have left you there. No, 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 no. You didn't. You didn't make a mistake. If you hadn't run away, I'm sure we would have run away together. And you know what that means? We'll still be in hiding, thinking the police is looking for us. And I'm sure you and I would have been making other plans, you know, you know. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure God just allowed it happen. That's how he exa that's that's exactly how he wanted it. Alright. Hope you're fine now. Yes, yes. Hold on. Here. This is my wedding invite. I love this card. Yeah, this mm -hmm. month and my traditional marriage. You are specially invited. Yes. And yeah, I guess this is the money. Take it. You deserve it. Yeah, you deserve it there. 
You deserve it. You deserve even more than that. Because if we can have like 1,000 men like you out there, I think we'll have this change we are looking for. What do you think? You deserve it. You mean this for me? Yes. yes. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I'll be my way.